Haiti has long been one of the world's poorest nations, and caring people have long tried to do what they can to help the island's suffering people. In January 2010, Haiti was struck by a magnitude 7 earthquake that killed a quarter million people and left a million homeless. The world responded with intense media coverage and massive amounts of emergency aid. Those gifts did provide for immediate needs, but after nearly a year, very little has changed. Faith calls us to care for the needy, to be our brother's keeper. Yet no one, no matter how compassionate, can be blamed for questioning whether their charitable efforts actually make a difference. That depends on where you direct those efforts. Most uh, of the organization, you know, international come in here, raise money, but most of them do their own things. You know, they are not taking care of the they, 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 they are not doing what they're supposed to do like uh, the uh, Mission Discovery did. Your money is not necessarily going to Mission Discovery, it's going directly to the people on the ground in Haiti who need your help so much. When the team comes here, the money is well invested. It's the money that they use to come here and buy food for the kids, is the money that they come to buy uh, school material for the kids, they buy books, they buy pencils, they buy uh, a pen, and then uniforms and book bags and also they buy medicines. I bought 150 doses of medication that are critical medications like top, like ibuprofen and worm medication and vitamins for children for 240 US dollars. And that, tre that, that treats 150 people, 150 kids. You probably hear some hammers and saws going off behind me. That is a, that is a gift that was given um, from somebody, but they are, uh, they're not here on this project but the dollars are actually getting on the ground and uh, fulfilling the vision that our ministry partners have around the, uh, here in Port-au-Prince and, and in other similar circumstances around the world. Creating permanent positive change in Haiti is not something that an outside government or charity can accomplish alone. It's for that reason that Mission Discovery begins by forming partnerships with local church organizations. No one knows better which problems are most pressing or where needs are greatest. Mission Discovery then organizes project teams to meet the needs of their Haitian partners. That could be medical clinics, it could be construction projects, whatever they need. Mission Discovery's Hold the Children program works hand in hand with local churches to create and sustain schools and orphanages. We're sitting here at the uh, Hold the Children home in Lavaux, Haiti. Uh, behind us we got on the property uh, the school that is supported as well. Uh, it's the new Haitian Mission Baptist Association uh, sponsored school and uh, that is uh, supported by sponsors through Hold Your Children. Haiti has no welfare state and the mindset of dependence has never taken root. Consequently, its people are industrious and would rather work than rely on handouts. There's a strong workforce and a strong work ethic here. And thanks to programs like Mission Discovery and Hold the Children, Haiti is slowly but surely creating an educated workforce. Education is the key from the, for the country of Haiti to come out of uh, the destitution that it's in. If you're educated, there are jobs uh, for school teachers, there are jobs for computer technicians, there are jobs for uh, people do uh, in sales of cell phones and all the media stuff that we use. It's here, so there's m numerous opportunities for the educated. For the uneducated, they're left uh, to fend for themselves on the streets, of doing whatever menial task that they can earn a living at. I so say thank you for the Mission Discovery who help uh, everyone who want to send their kids at school, uh, uh, give them the, the possibility by the material uh, for the school, pay the teachers, and give uh, the, the food for the kids. But uh, I think uh, God could bless the staff of Mission Discord. Connect, hold the children, can connect your, uh, your money and your, your giving to a child and to a school, uh, to, to a life that uh, offers more opportunity through education. Family, shelter, health care, education are all efforts that can produce real, positive, long-lasting change in the lives of the people of Haiti. Your house was collapsed during the earthquake. 
You are living in a tent city. When it's raining, you have no other place to go. And now they come and they build your house. That means the house can live for 20 years, 50 years, you know, even 100 years. So I would say I will go 100% with Mission Discovery because for what they do is much more effective. If you've been seeking a cause that you can support, knowing that your time, talent, and resources will make a real difference in people's lives, you found it. Mission Discovery is about to embark on a multi-state fundraising television campaign that has the potential to turn your donation into many times its own value. You've seen what the people of Haiti and their Mission Discovery partners are accomplishing now. Imagine what we can do with exponentially more resources. Please join us. Help us with your financial support for this important campaign. Now, I'm encouraging you. The more you give to the Mission, mission Discovery, to come to Haiti, more kids will get blessed here. More life kids will change.